Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to walk through uh, the restoration of this Macintosh Classic into something that I call the Trashintosh. So I actually have a fully working um, iPad mini here in this Macintosh Classic frame. So uh, unfortunately this Macintosh Classic was beyond repair. The uh, battery had exploded inside, but I was looking for a way to kind of, yeah, have this like sitting on the shelf and have either a full computer added in here or had an iPad in here that I could use and have it sitting on my desk. So I'm gonna walk through some of the teardown and like cleaning and everything here in this video and show you the final product. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Please like and subscribe to our channel. We just discharged the CRT, the cathode ray tube. So we had to do it here with the grounding wire and then the uh, flyback transformer right there had to be discharged. So once I opened it up though, and got inside, I could see there's a lot of corrosion. So I don't know if like one of the batteries or something or a capacitor broke, but yeah. So I'm going to start removing all the components now in here. I just undid this part. So this is done. Now I'm getting rid of the breadboards, the floppy disk piece here pretty soon. All right, just look how awesome this stuff is. Finally got the fan out in here. That's the uh, flyback transformer there. That's the one that could cause electric shock. Got your CRT. Now we're gonna go ahead and remove the CRT monitor from the structure. All right, so it looks like I found the issue of why this Macintosh Classic failed. So it looks like the battery here, this battery down here is all, it exploded and corroded all of the inside. So unfortunately, and then the other piece here, yeah, I found uh, there was another like resistor or something that broke off on the motherboard. So it does look like this one is beyond repair, unfortunately. So. I'm gonna go ahead and take off the motherboard now, uh, take off the floppy disk here, and then we'll see what we can do next. All right, here's another look at that battery. So as you can see, it's, yeah, it literally ruined everything. It exploded, leaked all over the motherboard. So, but yeah, pretty cool. You can see the uh, Mitsubishi uh, processor that's added in here. Uh, you can see, I think this is the RAM. We've got the Apple computer, classic, 1990-91. Wow, really cool. I love this piece of history. All right, so I just got out the floppy drive. So cool, so much computing history was enabled by the floppy disk storage. So really cool there. Got the classic out here now. So just kind of looking through what I have to work with here right now. So definitely gonna have to scrub all that corroded material, but it's not horrible. It's enough to still work with, thankfully. I went ahead and I just reused some of the screws and I've got an iPad mini fifth generation sitting here where the CRT was. And as you can see, it's working. Yay, got it working well. The now the issue is gonna be, I gotta figure out how to put a wire in there for... All right, so I just got through cleaning the insides. The corrosion of the battery was just horrible, but I finally got some really unique uh, views. I added in the iPad, like you saw, so let's go ahead and check it out. So here we have it sitting on the desk, and as you can see, I have this iPad mini, so I can use it just like any normal iPad, but it's got, yeah, it's now added into the Macintosh Classic case, which is really, really cool. So I can open the App Store. I can see everything, yeah, that's added in here, which is really cool. So it works just like a normal iPad. You can kind of click the home button here so it's not ideal, but hey, it gets the job done for now. Now I can connect a Bluetooth uh, device, a mouse, and a keyboard here and use it yeah, just like any normal iPad. 
Um, I also am thinking of putting in a full ITX, mini ITX uh, computer into this case. But for right now, I've got, yeah, this awesome Macintosh classic look uh, for my iPad. So here's a quick walk around of the final like trash and tosh or <laughs> my restored Macintosh classic. So uh, very, I did some cleaning around it, but it is still a little rough in some places, as you can see with some of these broken off. Uh, we have yeah a little bit of uh, pieces broken up here. I gotta do a little bit of cleaning on the plastic here that was kind of ruined. Um, but yeah, overall very um, happy with getting this uh, in. Again, it was a trash state, couldn't work. Um, as you will see here, the uh, battery actually broke off um, inside of the Macintosh Classic. So that's, uh, that battery acid just destroyed everything internally. But yeah, I've got the uh, full uh, iPad added in here and it can work, yeah, just normally uh, like a computer, you know, added in here. So it's a really cool kind of refresh to the Macintosh Classic here. Um, but yeah, let me uh, go ahead and enter my password. So yeah, I've got, you know, the ability here to come in, I can listen to music. So yeah, it's a really cool kind of feature just to sit on the desk. I mean, how cool is this to have it sitting up here? But yeah, very happy with the end result of Trash and Tosh build that I did here. I want to potentially add in like a mini ITX motherboard here and kind of add in like a full computer. But yeah, that's what I've got so far.